entryway Americans that'll get you and your foot in the door when it comes to American-made instruments. All right, the first American entryway guitar you should consider is the Les Paul Studio. Now, the Les Paul Studio has been around for quite a while. I've seen Les Paul Studios as far back as the 90s, mid 80s, okay? So, Les Paul Studios are meant to be a budget style of Les Paul guitar. Essentially, take a Les Paul standard, the one with all the trimmings, and remove things like the quilted maple tops and the really nice finished mahogany and all the different kinds of extra accoutrement that goes into a Gibson Les Paul standard, and you've got just a stripped down Les Paul Studio. All the tone woods, all the sounds of a Gibson Les Paul standard in a cheaper package. Now, finding a decade for a Les Paul Studio can be tricky. Typically, I've found that a lot of great Les Paul Studios came out in the mid to late 90s. That should be a good idea of where you're gonna be when buying a Les Paul Studio. That being said, sometimes older guitars can be a bit more expensive. I think I bought my Les Paul Studio 1990 for about eight to nine hundred dollars, and that has increased since then. So make sure you're looking at prices and a whether it's a fair market value for those instruments. A lot of times on Facebook Marketplace, people will actually be selling their Les Paul Studios that are maybe more modern. We're talking like mid 2010s, early 2010s. And you can find those for about a thousand, maybe even 1100 sometimes. Be patient and make sure you play it. A lot of studios are built a bit different, so make sure you like it before you buy it. The next guitar, the Fender American Standard Telecaster. Now, the Fender American Standard line was a line that really started in like the 19, I want to say 80s, all the way until like 2014 when it got replaced by the Fender American Performer and the Fender American Professional series. The Fender American Standards are the entryway American Standard guitar for Fender for a very, very long time. I remember playing as a kid growing up, the Fender American Standard was the Stratortelli to get. Nowadays, you can find them very inexpensive. You can find them for about twelve or thirteen hundred, depending upon your style. Or if you get really lucky, sometimes you can find a not so favored decade for about nine hundred. I've seen them very cheap. You can easily trade up to one of those guitars. A great entryway to the American style of Fender guitars. Third, not to be outdone by the American Fender Standard, the Fender American Performer. Now these are the newer lines of guitars. Not everyone likes the Fender American Performer. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is just people are just ornery. They just like a more traditional Fender American Standard, but it's got some cool things for it. it got a really cool neck carve. It's got Yosemite pickups, and it's got some interesting features with a blend knob installed. So if you like Fender American guitars, get a Fender American Performer. Get one used. I think new, they're about 1300 you can easily find them on the market for close to that 1000 mark I'm trying to limit guitars to. So make sure you can find one in that realm. Also, another great guitar trade. So if you have like a Korean PRS and want to move into American, Korean PRS for American Performer typically go well together. All right, the fourth American entryway guitar you guys should really consider getting is the Gibson Les Paul Tribute. I cannot say enough great things about the Gibson Les Paul Tribute. Incredible satin finish, comes with a great gig bag, 408R and 408T pickups. This guitar sounds like a true Les Paul. I think this guitar is great. You can get them for about $1,000, maybe even less on the aftermarket. What I like about these guitars is you can get a standard cherry satin sunburst or tobacco sunburst. But if you want to go way back, maybe like earlier than 2018, you can get gold P90 Les Paul tributes that are equally awesome. They are a little bit harder to find, might be a bit more expensive, but a great guitar in your arsenal. And so if you're going for a Les Paul Tribute or a Les Paul Studio, that's a tough one. I really like the Les Paul Tribute for a lot of reasons. It's smooth on the hands, it's got a great neck carve, and it's got a great setting set of pickups and can be a bit more modern. You know what you're getting. Although the Les Paul Studio has some cooler colors too. You kind of have to decide between the two, but if I were picking one right now, between a modern tribute or a vintage studio, modern tribute all the way. Do you guys have a favorite American guitar that's in the low end of the budget sphere that you guys like? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to hear all your opinions. I tried to stay with the solid body route. I love a good solid body, and there's less you can screw up on those compared to like maybe a you know hollow body or semi-hollow. But let me know down below, and also hit me up at Instagram. I'm always around to answer your questions, so let me know down below if you have any. We'll see you guys next time on iGuitar.